I hope you are good. My name is Mbuyisa Lovilagazi. They call me his royaltiness. And thank you so much for taking your precious time to join me. Today I'll be sharing with you how much I earned from YouTube or rather my first paycheck. Well, let me do a proper introduction because some of you will be watching probably for the first time. Well, as I've said, my name is Mbuyi Selo Vilagazi. I am based in Cape Town, South Africa. I am originally from KwaZulu Natal province in the villages of Mbongolwane in a small town called Esho. In 2019, I was an unemployed graduate um, from the University of Zuland. I completed my law degree in 2018 and in 2019 I then decided that you know what since I'm unemployed let me just um, a volunteer at the law clinic and offer free, free legal services to the indigent members of the community. Those are the people who are underprivileged uh, within the community. Now, uh, then I've always loved, but honestly, my first love has always been media and broadcasting. And then I contacted one of my mentors whose name is Langa Zulu. And I said, Langa, I want, now how can I be on TV, you know? Um, and what can I do on have my own talk show? <laughs> <laughs> okay and then he says to me wait a minute okay i hear you i see the vision there it's lovely but let me tell you something you can actually start your youtube channel and start your own talk show i'm like okay really you do not need equipment you just need your phone i'm like okay that is interesting he says you know what you need to start very small and there's this favorite scripture of mine that says never despise the days of small beginning so i was like okay i love this i'm gonna start and then I decided to start a talk show called Mbui's Corner and on my YouTube channel, which honestly, I, 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 I'm even scared to watch today because, oh my God, I was so crusty. <laughs> but also, I was just all over the place, but we all have to start somewhere. Hi, Wieselo. Yes, I'm actually very pleased to have you today on our show, our first episode. Mm -hmm. And it's groundbreaking because we're also a groundbreaking individual. Well, one thing that is nice about having a small YouTube channel with a small audience is that you can experiment as much as you can you can also make mistakes unlike someone who has 100,000 subscribers or 1 million subscribers they really have to account not that you don't have to account when you have small subscribers but at least you there is a room for you to to actually perfect your craft okay there are not, there's not much pressure or expectations so I did everything that a person needs to do in order for their YouTube channel to grow but let me tell you something 2019 2020 2021 um my you each year i would get 100 subscribers so 2022 um i had 300 subscribers and then i moved from kwazulu natal um to to cape town to pursue my postgraduate studies i just uh, left the job that i was doing and then i focused then on my postgraduate studies and i said you know what i need to focus on youtube so obviously with my youtube channel not growing as much as i would have wanted it to grow i was discouraged then a friend of mine told me you know what you need to write letters um to yourself when you're not feeling well i wrote this note it is the original note it's written um continue creating it'll pay off someday because i was so discouraged i thought i've put it i've been putting much effort i've bought a ring light but honestly it seems like my YouTube channel is not growing. And on the sixth day after writing this letter um, of, of February 2022, Black Coffee won an award, which is a Grammy award. You're like, okay, Black Coffee, you, YouTube channel. Listen, so when Black Coffee won an award, I have a friend, Yolokazi Taki, who is an amazing YouTuber. I called her at night. Yolokazi, um, I wanted to tell her, Yolokazi, Black Coffee has won an award. Boom, she was asleep. And then I thought to myself, why not? I think I should just report this. And then I reported the story. And for the first time ever, I got more than 1,000 subscribers. I had not, not 1,000 subscribers, 1,000 um, viewers. I had not gotten anything more than 1,000 in my YouTube channel. It would be just 100, 200, and that's all. So when I saw that the entertainment niche is working for me, I honestly deviated and changed. Honestly, it was hard at first. I thought, as I felt as if I'm betraying myself, you know. And there were people who were saying, now what, what, what has happened? Why the sudden change? Now, obviously, I had changed from just vlogs, motivational stuff to entertainment. But I, I didn't realize that even if I'm, even if you are doing entertainment you can be even uh, you can be still impactful depending on how you report i must commend your look as a and at 
uh, Clantis Dumakude, who is formerly known as the real Clantis tutorial, because they were there to mentor me and to tell me that, you know what, it's okay to pivot and change. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you that at the beginning of the year, I created a vision board and I said I just want 1,000 subscribers. And by now I have more than 5,000 subscribers. The power of having a vision and also working towards achieving your goal. Well, I eventually reached the goal of having 1,000 subscribers, a great milestone, trust me. Now, now the issue was the watch time. So you have to reach 4,000 watch hour, hours, okay? And then I was praying to God, what can I do to reach this? I was creating videos, creating videos, creating videos. And one day I created this video about um, the Kelly, the Senzo Meiwa case. So the sister of one of the people who are accused in the Senzo Meiwa case was speaking on one of the radio stations. I, I had that clip and also had my, uh, my voice over on it. And the video got me more than 100,000 views. And then automatically with one video, the 4,000 watch hour threshold was met. Well, I also changed the name of my channel from Buisa Levilaz, which is my name, to his royaltiness, and it aligned with my vision, which, and also the niche that I was now focused on his royal teeness. Well, subsequently, I was informed by YouTube that my channel was now eligible for monetization. Then they had to check it if definitely I am a human being and then I was approved soon thereafter. Then I placed ads on my YouTube channel. I encouraged people to watch those ads. Then I requested my pin. Um, so this is the pin. Um, you get a letter like this. But I must be honest, it was not easy. I requested more than three times. Um, so I could not find my pin. But for the third time, so this one, I, this letter, I got it after I was even approved. But for the after the third time, I then did a manual um, attempt or the manual approach whereby you upload your bank statement and other things. But I must say, there are people who are good in terms of YouTube consulting. Um, do talk to them. I'll put I'll put your look as a track and Clantis details here. So um, then you can have a conversation with them. I'm not sure about their fees. After putting my details manually, maybe after two weeks, then I received payment. Cling, cling. Ireland bank what what and then when I saw it, it was 20, 21,180 uh, rands imagine a lot of money I am definitely not an expert when it comes to the YouTube lingo however I know that especially since I'm here in South Africa and if most people are watching my video are from here in South Africa I'm likely to earn a relatively low amount I, compared to if maybe most of my viewers were from the States. Okay guys, let me make this demonstration. I had a video or I have a video of Jamie Foxx and it was watched by people in the States and I got um, $607 for that video. It has 29,000 um, views. Now in South African rands, that's like 10,600 rands. That's a lot of money for just one video. Now there is a video, just it's a demonstration of that I did about Big Zulu in South Africa. It has 40,000 uh, views. So it exceeds the Jamie uh, Fox video, but I got only $48 for that video, which is around 845 rands. So you can see you may have views, but if maybe people, it's people who are here in South Africa, you're likely to earn less. But if it's people who are watching from um, a country with a, a high CPM, um, you're likely to earn more. I must say my life has improved drastically because of YouTube. Now every month I'm getting um, money. I must say it is a great source of income. However, um, if you are still like me, you may consider having a second stream of income so that maybe if you are able to pay rent, do not just depend on YouTube alone because days are not the same here on YouTube. At least with me, I have found another job that I'm doing. At least I know that rent is sorted and other basic needs. So now from YouTube, the money I get from YouTube can probably I can send it home. I can it can take care of uh, other uh, other needs and also invest that money back to your channel. Improve your channel and buy new equipment and find ways of improving and also take some short courses that may help you um, thrive as a content creator well guys this is all from me i hope this video was very informative i love you so much and stay blessed